going to start with this little mandolin. Not like they would play a mandolin, but <laughs> a cooking mandolin. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use these to actually get potatoes pretty thin. You can do it with a knife, take a little bit of time. Then, of course, the question is, do I peel a potato or not? Ask yourself that question. <laughs> if you don't mind the peel, don't peel it. If you uh, do, then peel it. But if you're going to peel it, you want to make sure that not only when you peel it, see, I can tell that this potato's already got a lot of starch in it just by the way it's looking. So I got my peeler here, and I'm going to uh, peel this potato. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of make some potato crisps, if you will. Now, I would generally, in a quick way, could do that by just frying them. But I'm going to show you a little different way of doing that by using a couple of sheet pans in the oven. So here's what we're going to do. Don't have to be perfect. It's peeled. Enough already. <laughs> All right. I know it's peeled because there's peels everywhere. <laughs> now what we're going to do is we're going to take the potato sort of, oh, this way here. And we're going to, with our mandolin, we're going to sort of make these long sort of cuts. See that? How they're, and they're thin like this. And I'm not going to soak them in water because I really want the starch. I want pretty much as much starch as I can get out of them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. What I do is take a simple sheet pan and take some olive oil and brush the sheet pan. And then we lay these potato, thin potato strips right on the olive oil, just like that. And what we're going to do is, the goal here is we're trying to get them crispy. And there's a reason for that. So, we got our thin potato. Now watch how simple this is. This is a trick. See, if we were to fry these, they would end up getting, you know, curly and stuff. You know what I mean? So now what we do is we take a little bit more olive oil. We brush the potato. <laughs> <laughs> and then, show you the trick. <laughs> Tricks. Little salt, because I don't know where you get your potatoes. Where I get mine, they don't come seasoned. <laughs> okay? So, little salt, little pepper. <whistles> then, I take another sheet pan identical, and then I brush this with the oil. So they don't stick, you see? Then I just do that. And pop them in a 375 degree oven. And it's kind of like frying them. Except they're not going to get all curly. They're going to kind of stay flat like that. Now, this pan here, I'm going to start with some butter, a little bit of shallots. Uh, 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 uh. Bam, bam, oh! Wake up! Now, what I got here now is an assortment of mushrooms. Wood ear mushrooms, shiitake, little chanterelle, whatever you can get. Chop, 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 chop. It's going to go in here. Now the mushrooms are cooking. I don't know what's popping in there, but buddy, let me tell you something. You better stop popping or you're going to be popping out of something else. Now, watch this, because now the love, oh, the love is about ready to happen right now. Oh, yeah, that little bing, red light's getting ready to go on. You know what I mean? <laughs> So now I'm going to take this truffle oil. Oh, yeah, this stuff, man. You just a couple of drops here, a couple of over there. You get on the subway, man, I'm telling you. People, they either look at you strange or they go to the next car. We're going to add just a little truffle oil of love in here. Oh, my God, I can't stand it anymore. So now we're going to just kind of do this ragu stuff, and I'm going to show you a little trick. I got a little stock here. I don't really need it, but I'm going to add just a little of it. You know, I don't want to make the stock people mad. All right, stock's in there. See, now we're going to taste this, 
and see how this, all this love is coming together here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Starts with an O. Oh, come on. Jeez, you didn't even know where I was going there. Salt and pepper, re-season it. That's why you want to taste it. We're going to come back to that. This is a little Asagio cheese, but you can add whatever you want. What you want to do is make sure you add it at the end, because once you add the cheese, it's all going to come together, okay? Now, watch this. There's our mushroom filling. Oh, uh, we'll add a little bit more cheese. Why not? Oh, God, mushroom love. All right, I'm going to turn this off. Now watch. Let's go get our potatoes. It's been about, what, 10, 15 minutes, right? Yeah. Something like that. Might get lucky. Oh, yeah, babe. Oh, yeah, babe. Pretty. Now, see, they didn't stick. See? Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, here's what we want to do. We want to just take a little plate like this, appetizer, you know, and we'll just sort of make a little, ah, a little flour like that, you know, just kind of a little, ah, yeah, a little flour like that, you know. <laughs> then we'll take one of these potatoes. See, they do little baby bams like that. <laughs> it's always in, just in my head's like, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> So a little salt and pepper. Then, the mushroom truffle deal of love. You see, you just add a little. Oh, God. <laughs> Sprinkle with a little thyme. Oh, wait, you ain't seen nothing yet. Well, I'll put some thyme in here. Watch this. Then we'll take another little layer. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> See, that's what Napoleon, you know? Can you imagine serving this to one of your friends like that, you know? Yeah. Happy, happy, man. All right, I'm going to finish. I'm going to stop playing around. Look, do that there. More mushroom. I mean, you can go all the way. Get a little bit of this truffle like this. See, it went from a... $4.50 appetizer to $450. See, that's creative marketing right there. Talk about check average, huh? Little truffle on it like that, folks. Okay? And just a little drizzle of that love. Oh, my God. Bam! There you have it.